Hello again, this is Mohamed Miligi and another video about AngularJS. If you missed my previous videos about AngularJS, you can check them on the YouTube channel, link it just under this video, or you can go ahead to gurustop.net and check out the archive. Today's video is about creating recursive trees using AngularJS templates and the engine include directive. You might have found that recursive templates are usually hard in um, AngularJS and in other template formats as well, but we will see how easy it can be achieved this time. We will have a simple example showing this tree where in the first level we have item A and item B. Each one of them have items 1, 2, 3 and just to show a bit more of recursion we will have the first item here having 1, 1 and 1, 2 and the same for the last item um, under P3, P3, 1 and P3, 2. So to get that going I have had the JSON objects hooked to an empty AngularJS controller in here and assigned to the scope variable items so that we can loop over them going forward and we will try to display them. To get a tree going with uh, like maximum level of code reuse, we better have a template that we can really use for each level of the tree. I say level and not item because most of the time your tree doesn't exactly start from one single node. Usually you'd have a list that have children this is more realistic, so it might be more realistic as well to uh, make our trees take each level of the tree, including the top level, and render it as well as its children. So to do this, we will start by creating a template. In AngularJS, you can create a template using the script tag. And in order to tell AngularJS and the browser to treat the script tag correctly so that it doesn't treat it as an Angular, uh, sorry, as a JavaScript expression, for example, and so that AngularJS can detect it as a template, we will go ahead and say text uh, type equal text slash ng dash template. And we will give it a name using the standard HTML ID property. So here I'll say, for example, tree level. And I'll also add .html. It doesn't exactly have to be um, .html or so, but uh, like it's nice to make it look like a URL because that's how AngularJS expects your templates to be. So AngularJS would expect that you would be loading ang as a template from a path, a URL path. So it will first, when you try to call a template, it will check, did anyone define a script or programmatically add to the Angular template cache some uh, template that has this URL as its name. If yes, it will just use that. And if not, it will do what um, it thinks that you would really want, which is go ahead and fetch the HTML file that includes this template and render it. In our template, we can start by solving the easy part of the problem, which is rendering just one level of the tree. So we'll try to go ahead with the top level. For rendering the top level, there is nothing really that's surprising for you if you have been doing Angular for a while. It's just the good old ng repeat business. So I'll say ng repeat item in items. You realize I used the, uh, the variable items directly. So to keep this simple, we will try to be reusing the template within our tree, but not like universally in every single application or anything like that. Just a trade-off between uh, reusability and simplicity. So I'll go ahead in here and I'll say item.text, which is the property that um, contains the name or the label of each of the items. Going ahead with that, I have had my template created, but I haven't called it yet, so I'll go ahead and do that. 
I say use div where I want my template to render and to tell AngularJS that I need to render template in here we use the ng include directive and in ng include directive you are supposed to include the javascript expression that evaluates to the name or the URL path of the template so if I enter something like tree level dot html like this nothing would really happen because it it expected a javascript expression and that's not a javascript expression as it is so i solve that by wrapping it in code so that it looks like uh, a javascript string and yes we see the first level created To create the following level, we, we want to loop over the children and go recursively and include that template. So we can easily do that by just taking the same version in here. Except what we want to do is um, I will stop auto saving in uh, here so that we don't keep going recursively because we're, we we keep saying okay give us i uh, as the top items and loot again and give us top items and loot again um if if you're using an editor not not something that has um auto run you you wouldn't really have this problem and then I'll say okay so you'll include this and here it says item in items so I want to provide another set of items for the ng include to use it so here I'll say on load equals items equals item dot children you might be surprised from uh, reusing the item variable in here and actually even the items so the idea is that we will always get new scopes in here. Every time we we have ng include, we'll get a new scope that inherits from the current scope. So we can use this so that inside the template we can tell that items actually have item, which is also in in our scope because um, it's just like having child controllers where the child controller scope have access to the parent properties. So here we have access to the item and we can call it children, but we can override items only in this div so that we can do the list. So that when, when we go inside here again, we can see the new items. Let's see if that works. We say run and yes, we didn't just get the second level, we actually got the third level correctly as well. And to prove that this uh, works without affecting anything we um, I will do a bit of an experiment and have a checkbox that relates to each item in there and see how that selecting a single checkbox will only affect a single item so I'll go ahead in here I say input type equals checkbox name equal item selection for example and g model equals and then i will add a property inside the item let's call it selected and then once i get this i'll try to display and we see that a single item does not affect anything else of course if what you want is uh, including all the children you can you can do something like uh, ng change in here and call a method in the controllers that loops over the children and marks them as selected when you select a parent but um, the purpose of this one is really to show that you know this doesn't affect 
um, any other item other than the one selected. And I can also choose this in here by displaying the actual uh, JSON objects. So I'll go ahead and say pre slash pre inside this guy we want to see our items here we are at the top of the controller so we see the items as they are defined on the scope and we want to see them as JSON so that we can see the properties change in front of us so I will go ahead with that and now we, we got this selected so if I say look at item A, item A has just the text and all the children that the end is in here so once I do this it got the new property selected and nothing else has a property selected and if I go ahead and remove the selection selected is false only for this item if I go and select the last one yes only the last one is affected the first one is still false and that's it that's very 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 easy actually we can use the same thing on the top level as well so let's say our items was called something like source items or whatever that's specific to the controller and now this guy this template expects us to always have something called template we can also go ahead in here and say onload equals items equals source items and once I fix this to source items as well we should see it working as it was before yes we have selection working and yep that was that easy to go ahead and do um, infinite level of uh, three items Thanks a lot for watching this video, please tell me what you liked and what you didn't like in the comments and tell me if you have any questions as well. You can contact me via my blog gurustop.net, there should be a blog post covering the same material in here, link it in the description. You can also reach me via twitter as at miligi and that's it for now, until next video.